Welcome to Dario Agro Farm YouTube channel. In this video, I will be discussing on the factory vaccinated day o chick, factory vaccinated broiler day o chick, the Newcastle vaccination and the high vaccination. I will be discussing in details what it means by factory vaccinated day o chicks and the advantage and the disadvantage of factory vaccinated deal chick and which archery can you find this stay tuned to my channel if you are yet to subscribe subscribe to my channel you can as well share this video with wider audience i love you in nigeria agritech company uh, are majorly known for producing or arching or providing uh, a specific species of broilers known as ROS 308 and uh, presently we have the vaccinated one and the non-vaccinated one now most farmers do not know what this means and this video will enlighten you to know the difference between the vaccinated DO chick produced by aggregated company and the non-vaccinated DO chick now aggregated said your best have been vaccinated um against newcastle vh strain and ib h120 strain what does that mean okay, I use it vh strain and h120 is a live vaccine for poultry to protect against newcastle disease and infectious bronchitis disease the vaccine can be administered in drinking water or as a spray in the nose or eye of the bears. So the factory personally uh, vaccinates deo chicks at first day of action to prevent uh, Newcastle and IB disease, but with a particular strain. The Newcastle is VH strain and the IB is H120. The next thing you should know is that even after factory vaccination, your bears are not totally safe from Newcastle and IB. The reason being that vaccination cannot totally prevent occurrence of either of the disease. Good biosecurity must also be in place. And secondly, um, the factory clearly indicate the strain that is being vaccinated the newcastle it is indicated in bracket that vh strain that is to tell you that we have different strain of newcastle so this might not be effective against all strain kindly take note of that therefore you must try as much as possible to observe good biosecurity for your best to be safe from either of the disease the next question you want to ask is that will there be need to vaccinate your best again after this factory vaccination well i'll be glad to tell you that according to the factory or the archery that produce these best and vaccinate them as well it is clearly stated that this factory vaccination is for the first week for your bears to be protected in the first week that is your regular lasota vaccination for newcastle disease and gumboro vaccination for ibd should also follow this does not exempt you from vaccinating your birds if you carry out synthetic vaccination and for my families that carry out organic vaccination even as scientists say there's nothing like organic vaccination this factory vaccination does not stop your regular vaccination please take note to be at safer side now how dangerous or how big of a problem is 
Newcastle disease and infectious bronchitis disease IB. Newcastle disease and IB remain a highly infectious, common and costly disease in commercial poultry around the world. The virus or the viruses can spread through an entire flock in only one or two days and this can cause widespread of mortality and morbidity. Now what is the advantage of buying vaccinated heel chick? Vaccinating your chicks at the archery has an enormous benefit for you and the chicks and you do not need to worry about this until the next 10 days that is after a week we all know that the performance of the bears depend on the strong foundation laid from the old the main advantage of archery vaccination are as follow one archery use spray vaccination method which is the best method for the administration of respiratory vaccine like ND, Newcastle disease, or your infectious bronchitis, IV. It's much easier to apply and consequently more effective when given in the archery than when applied on the farm. Highly effective vaccine as the cold chain recommended for storage is maintained because your normal Gomburu and Lasota um, cold chain you are not sure of the cold chain if it's maintained. Now, with this factory vaccination, you are very sure that the factory maintained that cold chain and your best receive a vaccination. Better biosecurity as the vaccine is handled by a few people that are well trained in the factory. Now, the staffs or the workers in the ashtray that vaccinate your bears have been trained and they handle the vaccine very well because they are experts in that area. That is another advantage. Another advantage of factory vaccination is that the chickens are kept in boxes. The boxes, the normal box that they use and supply you, the chickens are kept in boxes which make it much easier to vaccinate than when they are spread all over a poultry house in your farm. So it's more easier to vaccinate them in the box using spray vaccination in the archery than vaccinating them in your farm personally. In archery, vaccinated flocks, that is vaccinated bears, the percentage of protected flock can reach 100%, which results in better performance. Remember, Chicks or chickens that are not sick perform way than bears that are sick. So for, for you to obtain a maximum result or maximum output, your bears must not be sick. This video is just to enlighten we the farmer that don't know the difference between the actual vaccinated DO chicks and the normal DO chicks. This video is not in any way to promote or to advertise Agritech. It is just to pass information and an awareness of the difference between factory vaccinated bed using Agritech as example and the known vaccinated beds. And also to enlighten farmers that even after factory vaccination, there's need for you to continue your normal vaccination for total protection of your bears from deadly virus disease. And also, biosecurity is very, very paramount to obtain good results from your bears. Have a nice day and happy farming.